Hello, welcome to Selenium Minutes. Today's quick video will focus on running a test case using various browsers. In order to get started, you will need at least one working test case. For this video, I will be using previously created valid login test case. Before proceeding, it is always a good idea to ensure your test case works. Let's do that now. In Eclipse IDE, open the test case, right-click on the document and select Run As, JUnit Test. Here we see the test case being executed using Firefox browser. Great, our test case has passed. We are now ready to experiment running the same test case using other browsers installed on our computer. I am currently using a Mac computer, therefore I have Safari browser installed. In order to execute my test case on Safari browser, I'm going to have to make a few changes. The first thing that we'll need to change is the driver class I use to instantialize my web driver variable. To make this easier, copy the current line and comment it out. Then paste the code and change Firefox to the browser of your choice. We'll start with Safari, so I will put Safari. Eclipse is still underlining the code that we wrote because we haven't yet imported the correct package for the Safari driver. If we hold our mouse over the underlined code, there should be a box that opens up which will have an option to import the correct package. If your Eclipse does not do this for you, your other option is to click on the light bulb with an X to the left of the new code. Similarly, you should be able to see an option to import the Safari driver package. Once you click, the new import statement will be added to the top of your test case. But there is one more thing that needs to be done. Before we proceed, we need to install an extra executable onto our Safari browser. You will need to go to the following URL to download the required executable. The URL is selenium-release.storage.googleapis.com slash index.html. Once you're on the correct web page, you will need to choose the most recent version. At the time of the filming of this video, the most recent version is 2.45. Once you click the most recent version, you will be presented with a list of different downloads. Because our goal is to run using Safari Driver, we will be clicking Safari Driver, that's Safari EXTZ, and save. You should now have a Safari driver that Safari EXTZ file in your downloads folder. Double click the new file. Your Safari browser will pop open and ask you if it's okay to install the new extension. Click install. You can now close the Safari window. Go ahead and return back to Eclipse. Right click inside your document and again select run as JUnit test. We will now see a Safari browser open up and execute our test case. As you can see, the test case passed, but this time it was executed on Safari. Next, let's try out Chrome driver. However, before you can run your test case on Google Chrome browser, you need to make sure it is installed on your system. To proceed executing your test case against Google Chrome browser, again, copy the existing line of code, comment out, and paste the new line of code. We will now be replacing the first portion of the driver object with Chrome. The Chrome driver package will need to be imported. Hold your mouse over the underlined Chrome driver and select the first option, which is import Chrome driver followed by the Chrome driver package name, org openqa selenium chrome. Notice that yet again, a new import statement has been added to the top of our document. Chrome driver is again going to require a bit more configuration. Before we proceed, we need to download the Chrome driver executable. To download Chrome driver executable, please go to chromedriver.storage.googleapis.com slash index.html. Select the most recent version. At the time of the filming of this video, the latest release is 2.15. Select the download which suits the system you're currently executing your test case on. Click and save. You should now have a Chrome driver zip file in your downloads. Double click the zip file to extract 
the actual Chrome driver executable. Next, you will need to create a browser folder in your Eclipse and copy the executable into your Eclipse project. The easiest way to copy the Chrome driver executable into your Eclipse project is to click and hold the executable and drag it into your browser's folder. And now the last step. We need to let Eclipse know where our Chrome driver executable resides. To do this, we have to use the system set property method. This can be done either inside the setup or the class setup. You will need to type the following code system dot set property the key is web driver dot chrome dot driver and the corresponding value is the location to your new chrome driver executable since in our project the executable resides inside the browsers folder we can use the relative path browsers slash Chrome driver. The slash has to be escaped by another slash. Additionally, if you are running your test case on a Windows environment, your slashes will need to face the other direction. And your Chrome driver executable is likely to have an exe extension. Because I am executing my test case on a Mac environment, there is no exe extension on my Chrome driver executable. We are ready to run our test case using Chrome driver. Right click, run as Game test. Excellent! Our test case has passed on Google Chrome browser. Now let's run our test case using Opera browser. Again, we will copy the existing browser line of code, comment out the current line, and paste the line again. We will now be changing the first part of the driver object to Opera and importing the package. We want to choose org.openqa.selenium.opera package. Similarly, we will need to download the Opera executable just like we did for Chrome driver and we will need to set the web driver Opera driver system property. Let's get started. To download Opera driver, please go to https colon slash slash github.com slash opera software slash opera chromium driver slash releases select the most recent release and download the archive that is most appropriate for your system you should now have an opera driver archive in your downloads folder double click the archive to extract the executable the easiest way to copy the executable into your project is to click on the executable and drag it over into your project in Eclipse. Before proceeding, you will also want to check that the file has execute permissions set on it. Navigate in terminal to the location of your Opera driver executable. Use the ls-al option to view the permissions on the file. As you can see, our Opera driver has execute permission and we are now ready to proceed. Before executing your test case on Opera driver, we need to also set the correct system property. The code you will need to type is system dot set property and the key will be web driver dot opera dot driver and the value will be the location of your opera driver executable because in our project we have placed opera driver into our browsers folder we can use the relative path and that's it again right click on your document select run as jun test and observe your test case run on Opera browser. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please click like. If you have any suggestions or comments on other videos you would like to see, please comment below.